All right, so uh, this is a video on how to use Limelight Game Stream with Trinus Gyre. Basically, you're going to want to launch the server on your PC. You're going to want to have Trinus Gyre on your phone as well as, of course, Limelight Game Stream. Uh, so once you go into Trinus Gyre, there are some settings here. Under Mode, this is normally set to Fast. You're going to want to pull up the drop-down box and select Limelight. This will launch limelight inside of Trinus Gyre on your phone so this way you can have your uh, mouse working and of course you have to set up your sensor uh, you know you have to set up the mouse and your sensitivity uh, left and right up and down uh, I don't bother with this uh, everything else here is kind of pointless if you're using limelight because limelight handles all the video quality stuff and all that fun stuff once you're done setting that up, you can also make profiles as well. So you can save a profile for each individual game, then load it when you're going to play the game. All right. So just to speak a little slower than that, make sure you go into mode and select limelight is the most important part here. Then you're going to want to hit this button that looks like a power button. All right. So once you do that, you're going to want to go to the server or the application on your phone, Trinus Gyre. Oh, first, before I do that, I cannot connect if I'm using Splashtop. Um, okay, I'm just going to end Splashtop completely. And we're pulling up Trinus Gyre. And none of these check mark options are useful for anything if you're using limelight so just hit the button to connect it looks like a power button so now we have our computer showing up through limelight and that will open up our our games and for this i'm going to select try def i just want to show you that the mouse uh is working and as you see the mouse is moving on the screen and i'm doing this by moving my phone Yeah, so my phone is moving, and so is the mouse. And uh, now I can select the launcher for for try def ignition whatever. I don't know why I got tongue tied on that, but whatever. Um, then you can launch your game, and you will be able to put your phone into your uh, headset. And you'll have the head tracking with Limelight Game Stream. You won't have to worry about being stuck in a windowed mode uh, situation or having compatibility issues because you're not in full screen or whatever the hell it is. You will be able to just use TriDef with head tracking in full screen in 3D in virtual reality. So that's that. Uh, I figured I'd give a... Um, a tutorial that includes someone speaking. Um, outside of that, there was something else I wanted to show you. In uh, I want to, I got to end this. So we go back and the session, and now I am going to let me just flip this back. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to go back in and show you one little thing that I see people uh, doing or something. If I can pull up Splashtop again, log into my PC, and blah, blah, blah. So, all right, we're, we're connected to my PC again. All right, so oh, so uh, with this uh, application, it has changed drastically. There is a big possibility that when you see this uh, this tutorial later on, that this tutorial would be completely irrelevant because the UI gets changed so much that it's crazy. So now, earlier versions of Trinus Gyre had other options that are now automatic. 
such as the USB tethering option, which is now automatic. Wi-Fi hotspot is now automatic. So if you don't have Wi-Fi hotspot uh, selected, it will connect through your router. If you select Wi-Fi hotspot now, like this, you will connect to your uh, directly to your PC. If you have USB tethering selected on your phone, you plug it in, it will automatically connect through USB tethering. So there's no drop-down options to connect that way. He, The developer did this to, to try to simplify the application for people that uh, wanted a simpler application. Uh, but yeah, there's no drop-down boxes for that. There's just connect automatically, and that's that. So I just wanted to point that out. So there you go, and there's a little tutorial for you. Thanks for watching.